Welcome to Kerr 9000's Horror House. Okay, so I've previously talked about Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight, as well as the unreleased Tales from the Crypt Fat Tuesday and Body Count. And it's now that I'd like to talk about another sort of Tales from the Crypt film, and that is a film which ended up being made which was at one point going to be a Tales from the Crypt movie, but for reasons, lost the connection. The film I'm talking about today is Dust Till Dawn. The story is that From Dust Till Dawn was at one stage planned as the follow-up to Tales from the Crypt Presents Demon Knight. So it would have been Tales from the Crypt Presents Dust Till Dawn. But due to disagreements with the producers, Tarantino and Rodriguez took the film elsewhere. I think it's interesting to know that From Dust Till Dawn was nearly a Tales from the Crypt film, and it's also interesting to think about how things could have been different. A teaser trailer was shot in 1991 by Robert Kurtzman, featuring Day of the Dead's Joe Palato as Seth Gecko. Apparently in 1988 he had wrote a 24 page treatment about a family taken hostage by two criminals on the run who seek refuge in a down and dirty vampire infested biker bar south of the Mexican border. It was this treatment which screenwriter Quentin Tarantino was hired to turn into a screenplay. Kurtzman says that he came up with Dust Till Dawn as a directing vehicle for himself and that in the late summer of 1991, at the tail end of shooting Sam Raimi's Army of Darkness, he borrowed a dolly and some track from production, with permission, and he pulled in a favour from Panavision for a camera, and he shot this short promo for the film. He apparently had no money to do this, and he built the sets using whatever he could find. He set everything up on the Friday, shot on the Saturday, and had it all cleaned up by the Sunday. You'll see that I've used this pilot trailer to give it a sort of name as part of the background for this video. And it's fascinating. I love Joseph Palato. I think he's great and, you know, it's a shame we didn't get to see him in a Dust Till Dawn style movie. But I do like the actors that were in it. And if you haven't seen from Dust Till Dawn, my first question for you is why not? It's a blooming fantastic film, and if you haven't seen it yet, then you should rectify that right away. If you haven't seen it, though, you might want to stop watching this, because I'm essentially going to spoil it. Dust Till Dawn has that kind of Tales from the Crypt quality in, that it, it has vampires and horror, but it also mixes this with a certain amount of humour and wackiness. There are a few things about it that are very unlike Tales from the Crypt for me. Tales from the Crypt has monsters and even criminals like bank robbers, but it has this sort of sense of morality to it, a sort of twisted morality at times, but morality all the same. This is not something I feel can be said about Dust Till Dawn. The person who I would call the main hero of Dust Till Dawn is a wanted criminal, a criminal who is not afraid to kill people, to take people hostage. Sure, he kills vampires, but he's only really doing it to survive. At the end of the film, he not only walks away free, he walks away with money and heads towards a new life in Mexico. Like I've already said, I think Dust Till Dawn certainly feels like it could exist within the Tales from the Crypt universe, at least with some changes, but I think it's probably a good thing that it didn't end up being a Tales film. Both Bordello of Blood and Dust Till Dawn came out in 1996, and I enjoyed both of them. With the two films being vampire based, I think if Dust had been a Tales film, then it would have simply killed Bordello. They're too similar to exist together under the same brand. I also think that both Tarantino and Rodriguez do their best work when they are messed with as little as possible. In fact, I would say that most films come out their best when someone can get as much of their original vision up on the screen as they can, and if there'd already been a disagreement with the producers in the early stages, it probably would have only gotten worse, and we would have ended up with a compromised film which was nobody's true project or vision. So we're left with a fantastic Dust Till Dawn film, yeah, granted, Bordell of Blood's not the best film in the world, but I still enjoy it. I think it's a decent vampire flick. And we're left with this pilot Dust Till Dawn trailer, which we can appreciate as sort of a, a hint at an alternative version. But it's interesting to note how this film 
nearly became a Tales from the Crypt film. Okay, that's Kerr 9000 signing off. Keep on watching those scary movies, boys and ghouls. <laughs>